Hi everyone and welcome to Oh Mother. My name's Krina and I was going to show you um, how I decorate my living room on a very pretty small budget and we're a military family so we move pretty much every two years so everything I buy has more than one function like I can use certain things in certain rooms in one home and use them differently in another. I have some really nice things, I have some antiques that I was very fortunately able to buy when we were overseas, we've been in Europe a couple of times and we're actually on our way to move to Asia. We're going to be going to Korea, which um, is going to be a little bit of a hassle. We can't bring all of our stuff. So hopefully I'll be able to take you guys on an adventure there if you're interested. So even though I do have four kids, I do try to keep my living room looking a little more grown up. It is right by the sort of front door. It's the first thing you see when you walk in or one of the first things you see when you walk into my home. So. I do try and keep it as nice as possible. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm gonna give you a little tour and show you certain things that I So, um, here is the wall, one of the walls, it's the fireplace wall, and it has two windows and a fireplace in the middle. It's actually a pretty big fireplace. The mantle's pretty tall. It's probably, it's probably a good five foot. And I had happened to buy that, um, painting we'll call it it's just a print um, on top of the fireplace that I bought in Ikea a few years ago and it was only eight dollars and it's huge and actually if you put it on a regular wall it's actually really really big but it fit really well over that space um, our last name begins with R so um, I uh, like to hang my R's around the place. So right now I'm doing a spring vibe. So the bunting is just from the Dollar Spot and Target. And um, I have my little birds and a few cloches and some candles. Those candles are just those um, battery ones so that they just come on on a timer. And my fireplace is pretty nifty because it just goes on on a switch. Um, this little table here, I hope you can see, I know the light's a little off. So this little table is something that I actually bought at a flea market in Belgium for probably $5. It was in pretty rough shape and I Annie Sloan chalk paint it. I think that was duck egg. And I got this lamp here, this crystal lamp in at a thrift store for $2.50. It's really heavy, it's definitely real crystal. And the lampshade I got in clearance in Target a couple of years ago, never had a lamp to go on it. And I hung a little six there because there's six people in my family. I like the number six. So on the bunting there, I have another little R. This is just from a scrapbook and an Ikea frame. So this is an example of very inexpensive artwork in your home. You know, you make me happy when skies are gray. I love decorating with baskets. So this one, we just have extra um, pillows in. And then we have an armchair. So the pillow says 5-4-2002, that's my wedding anniversary, which yes, is coming up next week. So we have the Ektorp Ikea sectional, and I have it in the white cover because you can buy a new white cover for about, a, I think it's about $100 for this one. And um, I like to be able to take off my covers and wash them. I've had this couch for oh, 10 years, definitely 10 years, maybe even a little bit longer. I also have, oh, this, the armchair is Ektorp too. And um, I have the Ektorp footstool. And then this is actually a, whoa, this is actually a tray I also got at Ikea and I just painted it. I actually painted it any Sloan chalk paint in the yellow, but it looked awful, so I used the antiquing glaze, and it just came back to looking like wood, and I put chalkboard paint on the bottom. So this is the back wall in my living room, and it's quite, um, it's actually quite a big wall. That's a, I think it's a, like 50 something inch TV. I don't know, you'd have to ask my husband. I don't really care too much for TV sizes. Anyway, so I, it was really hard to fill. Unless you have a big piece of artwork, it was really just an empty space. So, and I didn't want it to just be just a television. So I did have a lot of frames um, and I always sort of collected black and white pictures of various descriptions. And we 
basically just hung them all up together and made a, a gallery wall. Yes, I don't follow any rules. I am just somebody who hammers nails into walls and hangs a picture. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. When we take these down, it is probably going to be a disaster. There's so many holes back there. Anyway, um, so I just thought I might just give you a look at some of the things that I have hanging, which we have done, like I said, very inexpensively. First of all, I do have my German orchard, um, my German orchard ladder, which I just hang some blankets, and then I keep blankets on the in another basket. So as I said, we are we are a very lucky family in that we are a military family, and we have had the opportunity to travel to so many places, and we've truly had a wonderful life. But doing things cheaply, like this is simply a um, a map of Paris that we I framed in an Ikea frame. Um, it's a vintage map from 1615. Obviously, I paid probably about three or four dollars for it because, you know, I ordered it online or something. Then another thing I really like to do, like this is Metz, France, and this is just a postcard. I mean, it's actually just a framed postcard. But another thing I really like to do is often when you travel to different cities and different places, you will find artists on the street selling original artwork. This is what this is. This is actually um, photography from, this is Lower Drumcondra Road in Dublin. This is a picture of my kids on the beach before I had my fourth kid and our dog. This is a vintage map of Ireland. These are some little actual oil paintings that I bought at a flea market. This is just a picture of a postcard that I liked. This is something I printed from online. There's a ton of art that is royalty free online that you can print off with your own printer. Sorry, that's my little guy. He's running around in the background. This is also a postcard of Neuschwanstein Castle in Bavaria in Germany that I bought when we were there. This is me when I was a little baby. Uh, this is my children, a big a photograph I, put, I printed out in eight by 10. That is, obviously this is before Mommy, I, is that you, baby? That's me when I was a baby. You, you wanna say hi? You in the forest? Uh, no. So this is uh, actually Washington DC Zoo. I'm sure a lot of people will recognize that. Uh, my kids, the total photo op. It's another picture of my kids at the beach. This is, uh, Another cheap poster that you buy at these, when you go to places. I mean, this is Stroudsburg Cathedral. This is a free printable online of a racehorse. No, no, baby! Uh, okay. Shh. Uh, this is a picture that I picked up frame and all from a flea market in Paris. And this is the Brandenburg Gate. Once again, cheap poster. Um, this is original artwork that I got in Florence and um, from a guy outside, you get all these artists outside the art gallery and they're just painting or sketching away and you buy this beautiful piece of artwork that probably cost me 15 euro if even and then I frame it in an Ikea frame. This is um, something that I bought in Prague. Once again, it was like original artwork. Somebody just sketching away. This is a free printable. I have some French key. This is original artwork from uh, from Venice. So yeah. This is that guy again, the photographer who's on Grafton Street in Dublin. This is, uh, this kind of reminded me of my youth. This is where I grew up. So this is Trinity Street in Dublin. It's the old central bank and it's where we used to meet before we'd go out. This is actually Prague again. This is a picture of my two of my babies when they were little. So when I bring it all together, it makes a big impact. It fills a huge wall that would have been cavernous and impossible to fill. And I think it kind of makes, it makes a big impact and it looks great. And then as we move around here, I have a large gas glass door cabinet that at um, a flea market. Actually, I didn't end up buying it at the flea market. I bought it from a lady's warehouse and it was filthy and covered in bird poo and but um, ended up being one of it's actually one of my treasures once I took it I thought I was always going to paint it but once I took it home and realized how beautiful it was and cleaned it up and oiled it up and I just I love it those are my dog's toys in the corner poor thing she has to have them hidden 
So here's another example of artwork that we bought incredibly cheap. This is Amsterdam, it's simply a poster. But when you frame it up real nice, it looks really good. This is actually um, a little more expensive. This is something my, my husband bought in Normandy. He's big into, uh, you know, World War II. And then this is a, a little table, a little drop leaf table. So there you go.